This is a recordable video. Charlie. This is a story about Charlie, a fan engine from the mainland. Thomas wanted to be as much as fun as Charlie, but he learned that sometimes it's more important to be really useful. One morning, Thomas has some exciting news. His boiler was bubbling with pride as he stopped alongside his friend Percy at the washdown. Hello, Percy, Thomas whistled. The fat controller has given me a very special special today. I'm going to collect Alicia Botti, the famous opera singer from the docks, and take her straight to the town hall for a concert. Percy smiled at Thomas' excited face. I have some news too, he peeped. Someone else is arriving at the docks today. Who? Thomas asked, puzzled. Charlie, the new engine, Percy laughed. He's the mainland controller's favorite. Everyone says he's the most fun engine ever, even more than you. Before Thomas could reply, Percy had chuffed cheerfully away. Bumpers and buffers, thought Thomas. I didn't think any engine could be more fun than me. He puffed off to meet Alicia Botti at the docks, his wheels whirring with worry. I'm so pleased to be driving with you, Thomas, she said as she boarded Annie. Thomas felt very proud until he saw a small engine painted a cheeky bright purple. That must be Charlie, Thomas whistled quietly. Leave ye alone, I'm trying to read. He's smaller than me, and he certainly doesn't look more fun than me, thought Thomas, frowning. The purple engine puffed up with a mischievous smile. Hello, I'm Charlie. Are you Thomas? When Thomas said yes, Charlie continued. I've heard a lot of, about you. The mainland engines say you're even more fun than me. Thomas was very surprised. Just then, the fat controller arrived. Thomas, Charlie has a busy first day on Sodor, he boomed. He's helping with the concert. He has to collect the ice cream from the dairy and the red carpet from the from Napa station. Will you look after him? Yes, sir, replied Thomas. Yippee! Whistled Charlie with a burst of steam. The fat controller chuckled as he left. Let's race, to, let's race to the dairy, Charlie chirped cheekily. I'm too busy for races today, Thomas replied. I heard you were a fun engine, Charlie tooted, but you're not fun at all. Thomas didn't like being told he wasn't fun. All right, he said, I'll race you to the, di to the dairy, then, I, then I'll take Miss Botty to the town hall. I'm sure there is time, he decided. And with flash in their fireboxes, the race was on. Thomas and Charlie roared through tunnels and thundered through junctions, laughing all the way. When they reached the dairy, Thomas had been Charlie by a single buffer. How exciting that was, tried Little Botty. He sang, she sang a lovely song that made everyone smile. If you were a really fun engine, you would race me to Knapford next, panted Charlie as his ice cream churns were loaded. Thomas wasn't sure he was late, but he wanted Charlie to think that he was a fun engine. One more race, Charlie, he agreed. The two engines wished off again, halfway to the Knapford station. Thomas saw Gordon huffing towards the town hall with the fat controller. Cinders and ashes, I'm very late, Thomas gasped. Miss Botty will miss her own concert. He whistled goodbye to Charlie, then sped away down the line. It was a very bumpy ride, and his couplings became looser with every rattle. As he bumped on the bridge, uh, 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 has bumped onto the bridge, his crumbling hook went snap, but in his rush, Thomas noticed he had left Annie and Clara behind. At the town hall, Thomas steeped to a stop. Hello, here I am, sir, 
he whistled to the fat controller, who was waiting on the platform. The fat controller looked at Thomas sternly. Here you are, Thomas, he boomed. But where are Annie and Clarabel with Miss Botty? Thomas' driver looked behind and had a terrible shock. The two carriages were missing. Thomas had been having fun when he should have been really useful. I'm sorry, sir. I'll go and find them straight away, Thomas said. Thomas popped quickly back the way he had come. At the junction, he saw Charlie chopping up and told him the problem. Let's have a race to find your carriages. Charlie tooted. The winner will be the number one fun engine. Thomas frowned. No, Charlie, I want to be a really useful legend more than I want to be a fun one. When a signal changed, Thomas crossed the junction and steamed away. Thomas was very worried as he puffed along. Suddenly, he heard someone singing. That's Miss Butty's lovely voice, he thought happily. He popped up to the bridge. Miss Botty was leaning out of Fanny's doorway, singing to a crowd of people below. Thomas had never heard anything so beautiful. When she, when she had finished her song, Thomas smiled and told her, I'm sorry I'll be behind, but we must go now. Everyone was waiting for them at the town hall station. Charlie smiled when he saw Thomas park in his carriages, but the fat controller looked cross. You've made Miss Botty very late, Thomas, he said sternly. Not at all, said Toppin. Troll the little Botty. I've had the ride of my life with so many people to sing to. Thomas is such fun. Thomas was delighted and he whistled peep peep to his new fun friend Charlie. Thank you for, Thank you for the beautiful story. Uh,